Hi, Lorraine Bosset Smith here, where your entire life matters. And if you know anything about me, you've heard about all the movies that I've seen through the years and they always touch and impact me. And I recently have seen the new Elvis movie twice. <laughs> and I'm more saddened and grieving uh, the second time around than I was the first. I was on the younger side, so barely remember Elvis in his prime, but I always sense just a very sensitive, sweet person who was consumed by the glitz and glory of stardom and did not even fathom the story of the abusive relationship that he had with Colonel Parker. He wouldn't necessarily have become Elvis without him. But as his song said, and it stuck in my head, he was caught in a trap. And that got me thinking of all kinds of traps that we can fall into if we're not careful, and if we're not diligent, and if we don't remain strong in our faith. And Elvis fell into several traps. Besides the dysfunctional, horrible, manipulative relationship that he got into, he got stuck in a trap of praise, of just needing, desperately needing the approval of his fans. And a sad statement that he made was, you know, closer to his death. I don't think he realized it at the time, but he was scared to death of not mattering, that he would not be remembered. Well, we have remembered him as the, the king of rock and roll, but he fell into this trap of not feeling worthy. And how many of us fall into that trap? We believe the lies and the deceit that Satan tells us that who were we? We're just nothing. Well, we're children of God and we need to remember that. And again, my heart broke for him that he forgot that truth. And I think when he lost his mother, he really, truly remained lost. And then, of course, another trap he fell into, and I think it one led to the other, is that insecurity led him to addictions of drugs and alcohol and more drugs. And um, upon his death, you know, there were countless prescription drugs in his system. And I wish I wouldn't have read this, but he actually died of a heart attack on the toilet trying to go to the bathroom because he had not pooped for four months. So he was in a really bad way. And at the time, I don't think anybody knew. We just loved him and his music, the gift that he had. But cautionary tale on many levels for us about the traps of really bad dysfunctional relationships. And I think of what's going on in our country right now, and I'm trying not to get political, but people had said, oh, how bad could four years be? Well, when it's an abusive, toxic, horrible relationship that's one-sided, who wants to, to take what is yours and to control you, it can be really bad. And in Elvis's case, it cost him his life. So be careful, please, as we come up on elections, let's do homework, let's research good quality candidates, not just somebody's picture you like or an ad that you listen to, ads are all lies. But also to look into our lives and see what traps we might be falling into. And one can lead to another and before you know it, you're stuck in a trap. Can't get the song out of my head. And if you haven't seen the movie, I encourage you. It, the kid, Austin, oh, I always forget his last name. Uh, Blake, I think something like that. Phenomenal. He deserves every award out there for the role that he played and the quality, the singing, but a sad story of an amazing person that walked on the soft. Uh, on this earth too, too short, but there's lessons that we can learn. And if we can learn lessons, then nothing happens in vain. This is Lorraine Bosse Smith, where your entire life matters. Let's stay fit, healthy, and let's stay connected.